Blue <laughs> So I say, let's continue with the video. This marvellous thing that happened of I got interviewed by a very, very low tier radio show um, for memes. It's like, really down there, you know? So low that it doesn't even follow the Western propaganda model. That's how low it is. Anyway, let's go on. Just a couple of boys from WA. Just a couple of boys from WA. It's the Mitchell and Michael Show. Welcome, Now, what, ki what kind of opening is that? I, I get it's work for Mark McGowan really pushing that Australian propaganda, but come on, guys. You can pretend to be a little more than just a couple of boys from WA. Just a couple of boys from WA. I think you guys can describe yourself a little bit better than that. Just a couple of boys from WA. Sorry to borrow a term from 12 year old Roblox players who particularly play Strucid, Arsenal, or Poly Battle. Uh, don't ask me why I know. It has nothing to do with the fact that I played Roblox. What is with the background of you guys' picture? It's, it's default. That's what it is. You guys got a default background. That thing has the wrong lighting. You obviously didn't take it yourself because it's not terrible. What is with that? The reason I take terrible photos is not because I'm a terrible photographer. It's because if I take a terrible photo, people know that I took that photo. It's as simple as that. It is my watermark. It's how people know that my content is original and I'm not just going to riff off all these defaults that kind of just trigger in Western Australia's head going, Oh yeah, I don't know that place. It's a nice pretty picture. I'm a like this because I have a no brain. Just kidding, you just have a lizard brain, that's all buddy. Hey, my name is Richard Tilly, this is Michael Ross. Good morning everyone. We are the Collingwood Magpies of the radio industry. Bitterly hated. By Western Australians, because you're not friggin' West Coast or Fremantle, and I'm not gonna weigh in on that, which one's better, because I'll probably get eaten alive by someone. I mean, it's a dangerous place to be in Fremantle wearing a West Coast shirt, that's all I'm saying. Unless you're that one person I saw at a stall um, who was selling both merch in the Fremantle markets. I don't know how they survive. They must have some sort of community immunity. Must have been inoculated with that Russian vaccine. By WA, but still winning. <laughs> winning! Winning! You know, half the reason the memes I post only get 18 likes is because I've already posted them in the past and they've got like 100. Uh, my meme page has 5,000 views. I mean, maybe you're not talking about me specifically because my segment comes in a lot later, but come on, guys. Winning when you have a much larger sample size and only ever so slightly larger victory rate is not something to be uh, crying about for achievement, you know? That's Mitch. On yeah. the show. We have lost, you know, West Coast to the finals. No more WA teams in the finals. Yeah. And we're losing something else in WA. I don't know what's happening. We're saying goodbye to an old friend, maybe you would make the track. Maybe you'd go there every time you'd visit Perth. Yeah. And in November, it is closing its doors for good. Your mum's house. <laughs> <laughs> I have to commend them for that. Nothing beats a good old fashioned yo mama joke. I reckon even the Buddha would be like, what did you say about my mum? That, that was a borrowed joke, but whatever. <laughs> good one, mate. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Today is a, is a sad day for all Australians. They are closing Sizzler. Dun, dun, oh, nice. It was the best Oh, they even played the sad sometimes. music. <laughs> uh, I only know about Sizzler because of one, one friend in Geordie's video where they went to a Sizzler and spent 30 minutes just bashing how terrible the food is. They're like, oh, it's right, you need to get the first light Michelin. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> that was basically the whole video. So, I'm guessing there's nothing really lost because, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Sydney sizzle is just particularly bad. Maybe the ones in Perth are based. I'm not just saying this because I'm West Australian. You're probably right there, Timmy. I'm not sure. Let's be honest, it was sometimes, <laughs> it was sometimes the worst of times. Yeah, but, but it was <laughs> Okay, never mind. Times. It was great. Did it? Here's, here's a question. Um, did anyone ever order an actual meal from a sizzler? No, you would order whatever would make you like. 
Okay, theoretically speaking, I want to put on my Ben Shapiro voice here. Theoretically speaking, if you if, if you wanted to order your last meal out of Sizzlers, would you be able to order the all you can eat salad bar? And considering it's not technically a meal, would you be able to go to the prisoner people and be like, write me a Sizzler all you can eat? It's like. Okay, uh, I guess we can get you that. Um, after that, we are going to Jackie for murdering 12 children, though. Lines were out yeah, the door. It's that classic, I don't know if you have a place called Le Cornu, but in Darwin, <laughs> it was a furniture store that closed down every week. And it just, it gets everyone there. It gets vultures like yourself that go there. And then you end up saving you save them. save them. It was Rugs a Million in, uh, in WA. It's basically the Ed Sheeran song. You only miss the sun when it starts to snow, and I never miss the sun. It gets everyone there. It gets <laughs> vultures like yourself. Look, you don't look like a vulture. I'm not going to go that far. You look like my friend who put a sex doll on a business and a crane. Legit. I mean, I know you guys are joking about that being like, oh yeah, you look like a default. And yes, you do look like Steve from Minecraft, but that's besides the point. Amazing. <laughs> Where in Australia is this strangely named place? It's a very simple game, Mitch. Yep. I ask you where in Australia is this place. You yep. tell me which state it mm-hmm. is based in, at least. And you can get some bonus points if you can tell me where in the state it is. If you get stuck, feel free to open and open the lines, the one 800 one Let's get this rolling. Where in Australia is Banana. Yo, mom. Oh! That's how you do your mom and joke. Boy, crap, five times doing it. You're welcome. Oh, it's gotta be. I'm gonna lock this in. Uh, it is in the region of Peel. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> that, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, no, that's funny. Correct. Yeah, it's, I reckon it's around the big banana. Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> no bonus point for you. Uh, banana is nowhere near banana growing territory. It's really? inland. It's cattle country. Really? Named after a big yellow cow that lived there. That was called Banana. The cow was there first. <laughs> the nice. cow was there first. It's T Bone's ancestor. Big banana. Or just banana. Except T Bone's not yellow and he's on the other side of the T Bone, we will remember you. I haven't seen T Bone lately, so, you know. Mystery. Where in Australia is Whoop Whoop? Actual place Whoop Whoop. There is an actual sure. place. So, you know, when you say... I'm going Whoop Whoop. Yeah, out in Whoop Whoop. There's a real place. There's a real Whoop Whoop. Where is Whoop Whoop? Jeez. Oh, I can only imagine that if that saying has been around for a while, the town and... The state has been you can dance, you guys, because you guys are like a song. You're just funny. Funny, funny to listen to. Whoop whoop. New South Wales. Incorrect. <laughs> you want to keep going, man? Uh, Tasmania. Incorrect. <laughs> Go on, Tasmania? Queensland. West Australia. Oh, well done, yeah. Yeah, yeah whoop whoop is in. Yay, yeah, you can guess every state in the country. Yay. If I make I learn to do it, 12, which is pretty sad, actually. Now, our Lord and Saviour. Mark McGowan. Praise be to Marky Boy, our saviour, and the Labour lad. Because people who don't like Labour like to say that he's doing very well. My grandparents told me. Yeah. They said, I'll tell you what, I don't vote Labour, but he is that, is... that is true. That is one thing I noticed about Mark McGowan. When I was volunteer, I was basically doing what every Labour volunteer does. Whatever Labour, what every Labour volunteer dreams of being. Just talking to people, and every single person you talk to is like... Yeah, love your representative, he's doing a great job, your Premier, he's, he's fantastic, he's marvellous, our Premier, oh, just contrast that with Queensland, where you're just struggling to get people to even just put Labour above in preferences. Hey, on, uh, on Friday, we launched another local meme for WA. Meme's a strong word, but this is it, boys and girls and unidentified flying objects. This is the moment of glory for me on an um, extremely low tier commercial radio network that probably gets about as many views as most of my good videos. Really, I shouldn't be that excited. But I am! Because they've decided to challenge me for posting 
they decided to declare me more. I've had years of experience delving the deepest depths of Google+, a place of barren hatred and very, very weird people who are like between the ages of 12 and 15. <sighs> I have fought countless battles there. I have rose to the ranks of a uh, not quite general. General after it was deleted. I'm I'm ready for a meme war, guys. This this is only the beginning. Unless I get very distracted by work. Uh, it was about lost dogs getting found uh, throughout the region. My God, you guys just trying to find this thing. You guys forgot to put into account Jigalong. You know what Jigalong's dog problem is? You know how they solve it? They just killed the dogs. I mean, it was like 1980s and the population of dogs was higher than people and they really didn't have the resources for any other option. But still, that's how they deal with their dog problems. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how human deals with that. Someone has um, taken a bit of a, an issue with our constant memeing across. Look, boys, it's not an issue. A meme war is a sign of respect and fun. I know you guys aren't well acquainted with actual proper meme culture. The closest you guys probably got was browsing a page of Reddit. Meme wars are an important cultural tradition. It's like a dance. That's all I'm asking, eh? Bit of a scurry. Cross WA. Oh, okay. And we've got them on the line now. Uh, hello, is that Newman Memes? It's the one and only. I was just listening to you guys praising our Lord and Saviour Mark's boy then. I can't, 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 can't deny that that is uh, very much the truth. You guys are definitely the dishes of truth. Um, <laughs> why, why are you calling me this fine evening? Well, <laughs> well, what do you mean, Memes? It's actually morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to... Here for the last time, it's evening somewhere in the world. I'm going to keep using that joke till it's the last one in my breath. Introduce you to your... Your meme nemesis, or memesis, if ah. you will, uh, Mitchell Tinley, <laughs> Mean Newman Memes, who ah. has uh, who has beaten you this weekend what? with a meme. What do you mean? Just because <laughs> your memes are a little bit more boomer, and they are, does not mean you've beaten me. What the hell kind of person just uses a regular sliding down kid meme without boiling it to the point of being deep fried? Like, just boiling the oil so that there's no more oil. That's how deep fried it is. You've literally set oil to boiling point. How do you not enjoy making memes like that? That's just complete saturation 500%. Eh? I don't get it. It's just, there's not enough things being done to it. It's not chaotic. It's not nonsensical insanity. That's all I'm after for my memes. Just... You know, this, this, this is one of the youngest areas of Australia in terms of the population. And that's true. Besides the Northern Territory, which, because of Wikipedia uh, little graph thing, use purple colour to determine younger age, basically looked like Thanos Territory. But right next to it was the Pilbara, which is both the young, one of the youngest and wealthiest. Like, you don't think of it seeing any of But I, I guess it's like Nauru in the 70s. Very different than Nauru today, by the way. So my memes are a little more in sync with the population. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I'm 28. How, <laughs> how old are you? That's my point. You're 28. Internet was before your time. Besides the one that goes... Friggin' 1992. What the hell happened in 1992? That was before Pokemon. I do not want to live in a world before the theme song to Pokemon. How could you live in a world without that? Why are you making memes that can be seen by boomers who would understand? I can be a bit word stumbly, but uh, it's just how it is, okay? Dan, your memes have got to be a little danker than that. <laughs> so proud that you use the word dank. Your <laughs> memes aren't dank enough, Mitch. Haven't said the word dank in years. Okay. So you had, uh, Mitch, you had the uh, the dogs going yeah. lost. Sorry, mate. sorry, um, Newman Memes, did you get your parental permission to be on the show? Or... <laughs> oh, jeez. You guys are just coming back with the mirror attack. So uncreative. Basically, you just hit me with a no you, which 
It's meant to be the most powerful comeback in history, but come on. It's just so unoriginal. I talk about how boomer your memes are, which they're more like millennial, but, but you know, boom is already the same, isn't it? You just come back, oh yeah, but you got your premium permission all time. And what, what if I do? Which I don't, I totally don't. Shut up, mum. I'll be out for dinner in a minute, even though it's 7 a.m. And I gotta go to work too. It's just, you gotta think of something a little better. I know that you're on the dot and it's, it's, a, it's FM commercial radio, but no one's listening. You can have a few seconds of silence to think of a better comeback, okay? That's okay. It's not like your Newman Community Radio with a committed listener base of mine workers. One or two point five FM on the hill, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you had you had the lost yeah, dog memes. Yeah, anyway. did very well yep. uh, on on Newman uh, Community Discussion. Got seventeen mm-hmm. reactions. Fantastic. Nice, amazing. But you were out memed. Oh no! By a point, like Collingwood beating West Coast. Oh no! Newman memes got eighteen reactions for their. The Virgin versus the Chad, where we are, <laughs> Triple M, oh, we are the Virgin. That <laughs> is quality. That is good. That even looks... Just like East West Kitchen, it's quality. Just like Mame, it's quality. It's spicy, it's beautiful, it's artistic. And you. That is good. That is that is some good stuff. So well played, Newman Memes. Now, did you, Newman Memes... It ain't a play, boy. Eat a dance. I'm teaching on my own because that's pretty much what I do for fun these days. And we're back, fellas. You know, because winter is over, kitties, and I am... Well, it's still kind of actually quite breezy here. I don't know why we have the Jolton wind. Like, this isn't Jolton, okay? Where did all this wind come from? Why is it now cold? It's meant to be not, it's meant to be the not cold season now. It's meant to be not cold. I'm pretty sure they call it spring. It's hot now. I don't have a black logo, Triple M. It's claustrophobic, it's emo, it's got to get vaporised when it sets foot in the sun, just like that meme I made a few years ago about me walking around a hill in the summer, because I'm an idiot. Alright, back to the show, because my phone brutally interrupted me in the middle of making, in the middle of the most important part of the video, because, I have storage space, feed me Seymour, or I guess vomit me Seymour because it needs less stuff in it. I, I don't know, I haven't actually watched the movie. <laughs> you probably have your friggin' boomer. Well, millennial. Daniels is a boomer. You know, your name is Shish, mate. You, you, which, the one that's the actual comedian, the, uh, the Hamish of the Hamish and Andy, because that's what you guys are, just Hamish and Andy wannabes. Which, fair enough, who wouldn't want to be Hamish and Andy? From what I've heard of them, and the little, of both of them, and from what other comedians and radio people I know of have said of them, Hamish and Andy are based AF. They are the model of Australian radio. So, of course, you want a BM, but, you know, you don't want to want to be a wannabe too. Got a bad bit original. And currently, the only thing original about you guys is your default background picture of I assume Karajini Gorge that you found on Google Maps typing up, I don't know, WA cool shit. <laughs> and Karajini is based AF. You guys should go there if you haven't already. I've been there a few times for multiple reasons. When you walk down the gorge, it literally looks like you're playing Minecraft. Everything is so blocky and chunky. And you go into the thing, and then it's like your graphics just suddenly render, and you got this beautiful, gorgeous landscape. See what it is? Gorgeous. Just like you guys. Oh, I see, I can be nice too. You can you be nice back? <laughs> Sorry, I just remember. I've been spending this whole time dogging them for being Hamish and Andy wannabes. Yet, I'm literally making this video, and the only thing I'm thinking in my head is what will Friendly Geordies do? What will Friendly Geordies do? Because who isn't funnier than Friendly Geordies, eh? <laughs> Your memes it? aren't dank enough, Mitch. Oh, would you? Oh. Because they're not. Every time you say Mitch, I think of Beijing Canadian from YouTube. Just this default, unoriginal Minecraft YouTube, except I actually only think of him because his name is also Mitch. And I spent a year of my childhood just doing nothing but downloading his videos of, you know, at the library. I've had a sad existence. Mitch, you had the uh, the dogs going yeah. lost. Sorry, man. sorry, um, Newman Memes, did you get your parental permission to be on the show? <laughs> or? <laughs> 
<laughs> you had you had the lost dog yeah, memes. Yeah, anyway. did very well yep. uh, on on Newman uh, community discussion. Got seventeen mm-hmm. reactions. Fantastic, nice, amazing. But you were out memed. Oh no! By a point, like Collingwood beating West Coast. Oh no! Newman memes got eighteen reactions. I, I, I gotta ask this question again. What is with this absolute obsession that any mainstream outlet has with sports? Now, Noam Chomsky, I'm starting to believe what he's saying about sports being this distraction that the mainstream media puts up. I've been kind of ignoring it for now because sports culture stress is kind of a big deal. Don't want to get beaten to a pulp. But while I have the safety of my own bedroom and the screen, so you, which you can't get punched through, I hope to God, what's with this? Like, you know how weird it'd be if instead of football, just every mainstream outlet just has two and a half minutes of their five minutes of news every hour just going, okay, in the day's Pokemon tournament, it's been a wonderful day. Uh, uh, this guy actually won the Pokemon tournament with a punch of Risu. This is incredible. What we thought was just a knockoff Pikachu from Generation 4 has come back in Generation 7 to win a Pokemon World Tournament. It's actually Gen 6, but besides what, you know how weird that would be? That's what sports basically is. It is not much different from just Pokemon. The only difference is it's a little bit simpler and it involves actual physical exertion. But uh, maybe show me you can understand because you were born before the Pokemon times or you Gen 1-er, I assume. You just played your little Pokemon Gold and Silver, which, okay, I admit that is one of the better ones, but still, what if it was chess instead of body? That'd still be weird. At school too, school's nothing but shooting goals, skiing goals, you know, we're gonna go on a wheel too to do some sports, yo. No, we're not gonna put any funding into like, you know, math. We'll put twice as much funding into, you know, kicking a ball around. And yeah, I get it, we're a fat obese generation, but guys, please, you don't need to put all this funding in sport, it's not gonna make people more fit. Except for the ones that already are fit. And for their the virgin versus the Chad. Where we are, Triple M, we are the virgin. That is quality. (laughs) Because you guys are. Until you guys get laid live on radio, I'm not going to believe that you aren't virgin. I'm pretty sure just through virtue of age, El Presidente Daniels has at one point stopped being a virgin. I mean, he is also a Catholic, which kind of cancels out the age a bit, but I'm still pretty certain, which makes him more of a chap. That is good. That even looks like me and you. That is good. That is that is some good stuff. So well played, new. Because you guys are default Steve from Minecraft. If he had less hair, or I suppose you know, for all those ten to twelve year olds watching this channel, you know, that default skin from Fortnite that you guys keep shooting to death because he's a default. You say he's a default. Yeah. Newman memes. Now, did you, Newman memes, did you do this in your allocated screen time that mum let you have? Or? I don't have allocated screen time anymore. I can go on whenever I want. And you three years ago. Aha. Four is to include the years that I snuck my DS under my pillow, which I'm sure you guys used to do with your Game Boy Color. What a brand new device. It is no longer 8 bit black and white, it is 8 bit color. Okay, tell me, guys. You gotta tell me on your next radio show if you played your Game Boy Color. If you, if you take one thing from this video, it, it, it's that kind, humble request. I'm gonna put $10 that that was your toy growing up. It was the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance. That's my that's my secondary bet so that I can diversify. For all. Well, maybe, but that's just about the toy. <laughs> yeah, how long have you, how long have you been making memes? I'm at liberty to divulge the work, inner workings of the massive machine contraption, the, the massive, what's the word? The, the, I don't know, mate, you're using them all. All right, mate, you're using all. Just because you don't, that's because I used all the words that you've known, maybe besides dogs. I didn't use that word. You know that word, because you've said it before. You made a meme about that. Good job. Good on you, Timmy. On the shell, Mitchy. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Just because you don't know the word domicile, okay? As I speak this in my humble domicile, well, this isn't mine, this is BHP, but I have one in jail. And I swear to you, it's on me tackle, it's pretty neat, got four bedrooms, only a 5% chance of being underwater in the next 50 years because it's on a hill. That's what Big Chief was talking about when he was talking about bright light, bright light on the hill. He wasn't talking about some beautiful utopian Australian future that Ben Chiefley always does, which he was accused of being a communist for like, what, 
liking a good future for his fellow Australians? Okay, let's have the person who sold iron ore to Japanese during World War II be our longest serving PM instead. <laughs> oh, don't you just love Australian history? He's just like, yeah, I want a good future for Australia and stuff. Well, I sold iron to the Japanese and I have slightly more money and influence than you. Well, I guess you're going to be the longest serving Prime Minister in history because you like British people. <laughs> Enough that you let them nuke Australia for a bit. And look, I, I gotta commend Menzies for that political decision of letting British people nuke Australia. How else were the British people be gonna become nuclear powers? And there's nothing funnier than thinking of thinking of British people going, Hey, hey Jeremy, fine day for uh, nuking, isn't it, eh? Yeah, budge. Except they don't say budge because they're British poms, but whatever, hey. What was I talking about? Right. Just because you have limited vocabulary does not mean that you can make fun of me saying words multiple times over. What I was trying to say was that, you know, my meme page, much like the Labour Party, is a massive machine contraption that has lots of infrastructure and support within it. Namely, that infrastructure being me posting memes a couple times a month. Not even, like once or twice a month. Because I keep forgetting the page exists, even though it's... I think at this point, my, actually my m most viewed piece of content, in spite of both my YouTube channels being around for at least one or two years longer. The Newman Memes Machine. <laughs> now, how does the town take memes? Do you think they enjoy them? Yeah, and then you guys ask some actual good questions. Good on you. Took them a lot better than I thought. You know, before Newman memes, uh, I mostly just made my memes on Google Plus, and then that got deleted, and I got nothing to do. So I just started making memes about Newman, and they they've taken it very well. They have taken it very well. Newman memes is about it, it legitimately has more views than there are people in Newman. Your last census says forty five hundred. My page is five thousand three hundred. Now, it sounds like I've lost the town of Newman anyway, so, you know, in for a... You haven't lost the town of Newman. You can physically never lose this town. This thing is a transient, my friend. You can just leave and return and leave and return. So, you know, keep them coming. You're doing great. By Newman standards, which admittedly is pretty low. Just keep at it. I'm encouraging you. I'm gonna be your Tony Roberts. I unleash the unlimited power and keep posting sh memes of me. Cause I get lonely if I don't have memes to post. You know, in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, did uh, come on? We discussed this decades ago. The penny and pounds being replaced with the cent and the dollar, buddy. You don't even remember the penny pound song? Cause you're that old. Picking out memes on the internet, or did you normally just have to like nail them up on the notice board? Oh yeah, I would do that if I knew how to nail things up on notice boards. I cannot get past the plastic glass. Also, I don't want to interrupt all those notices going. Oh yeah, we've lost your dog. Can you help us find it? I think I think they're pretty well acquainted with internet memes, but you know. And they are. I got inspired to post human memes once someone made a. One of those Batman mask dude. What's that mask dude's name? I'll put it up on the screen. Once I saw someone make that meme. People in Newman know how to make memes, okay? I think most people here are around your age or a little bit older, so they can be a bit boomer sometimes. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm 28. <laughs> I'm 28. I've never been called a boomer in my life. Uh, mate, look, I'm going to throw it down. I'm a bit caught off. That is my point. You are 28! That is almost double my age! That is how old you are! And you still have noodle arms and a little super strainer moustache! You just, I look older than you! <laughs> and you're 28! What is your age care routine and what was my original point? Because I just realised I complimented you then! I've never been called a boomer in my life. Uh, mate, look, I'm a And that's saying something that you've never been called a boomer in your life because you're that old. Surely, like, someone mistook you for an explosion. It's like, hey, boomer, at least once, just by accident. I'm going to throw it down. I'm a bit caught off guard. But end of the week, I'm going to go a meme battle with you and the loser leaves town. And this is the first parry, boy? Or the second if I post a meme before then. I don't know what my inspirations will be. 
but they'll be inspirational. Fuck my arms along. Look at that. Look at how the phone's interpreting my arms. Little arms. Town. <laughs> uh, this ain't gonna be my first meme war, I tell you that. <laughs> and I've told ya. We've had the four years of meme and experience on a site that no one uses except for really weird cats. It's on. Human memes, thanks for joining us <laughs> today. Yeah, no. I think more people need to listen to other people's conversations. Oh yeah, and then you go on about eavesdropping. I'm gonna leave this in because this whole segment was basically Friendly Geordies' buzz video, except without the continuous information putting dirt on the deputy New South Wales Premier. Said it's just a... I'm pretty sure him talking about John Barillara's visit to Perth once. He's like, oh, bras garlic bread! And there's no better description of, from what I've heard of John Barillara, which admittedly is from a source of a man who spent several months trying to destroy him. You basically are talking about John Barillara. Start another 30 minutes at work. So, I'll just finish this off with a little bit of a challenge, a little vlog mode. Yeah, look at me, vlogger, you're vloggy, vlogging, I'm Jake Paul or whatever. <laughs> look at me, wheeze. I wheeze laugh because of all the dust. <laughs> That's the sound of asbestos humor right there. Crikey. So I'll pull my challenge to you guys. Can you do a reply, a reply video in this precise format? And do it live, just like just like good old David Lee from 6NEW did it. Can you do it like him and like mine? Can you merge our formats together into one ultimate comeback video for both of us? That is my challenge. Or like, you know, just talk about stuff again and memes. I'm happy with that too. But that's the second place, bro. That's the consolidate. That's that's the bare minimum, okay? Cat. Ciao. Have fun. Ciao.